English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Unit 12. Interchange 1, Unit 12, Part 2. Look at the picture, exercise number 8, conversation. Look at the picture, what do you see? A man, an old lady. Where is the, where is the lady, where is the man? A drugstore, he's in a drugstore, drugstore pharmacy. So what's his job? He's pharmacist. He's a pharmacist. This is a pharmacist, and she's an old lady. The old lady is a customer. She's buying medicine. She's buying medicine. What is she buying? Multivitamins. Three bottles of multivitamins. A bottle. A bottle of multivitamins. Cuff drops. Lotion. A pharmacy is a place for selling medicine. Pharmacy means drugstore. A pharmacy or drugstore, a place to sell medicine. Conversation. What do you suggest? Listen and practice. Lesson. Page 81. Exercise 8. Conversation. What do you suggest? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Page 81. Exercise 8. What do you suggest? This conversation is between who? Between a pharmacist and Mrs. Webb. What is the matter? She has a problem. She has a cough. She asking the pharmacist something for a cough. Could I have something for a cough? Could I have medicine for a cough? Cough? G H F cough. This is cough. Mrs. Webb is getting a cold. Mrs. Webb is getting a cold. She, she wants something for a cough. What does the pharmacy suggest? He suggests a box of cough drops. A box of cough drops. Cough drops. What does the pharmacist suggest for dry skin? For dry skin, try some of this new lotion. Try some of this lotion. What is the matter of Mrs. Webb's husband? Her husband has no energy. He's very lazy. He's not active. So what does the pharmacist suggest? He should try some of these multivitamins, they're excellent. They're excellent. They are excellent. How many bottles? How many bottles did Miss Webb ask? 
Mrs. Whip asked for three large bottles. Three large bottles. Bottles, T, soft D. Butter, bottle, bottles. And S as the bottles is again bottles. How can you read it? O in American A, ba. T, soft D, butter. L, bottle. And then ES as is bottles. Three large bottles, please. Number B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes? How can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where are the aspirin? They're in aisle 5, right over there. Listen again. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes? How can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where are the aspirin? They're in aisle 5, right over there. What does the customer want? What is the matter of the customer? The customer has a backache. He has pains in back. Backache, pains in back. The pharmacist gives him different suggestions. You should get, you should take some aspirin and it's a good idea to use a heating pad. You should take some aspirin and it's a good idea to use a heating pad. A heating pad. Exercise 9 Grammar Focus we're going to listen to this exercise, then you will have the explanation, we will explain it in a PowerPoint presentation. Let's start to listen. Page 81, exercise 9, grammar focus. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. Listen again, the first part. Page 81, exercise 9, grammar focus. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? So this is like a conversation between two persons. May I help you? Can I help you? Pharmacist? Customer or patient? Someone who's sick? Customer. Can I have a box? Could I have, a, could I have something? May have and the medicine. 
can have a box cough drops, the medicine, something for a cough, a bottle of aspirin. So this conversation in a pharmacy between pharmacist and a customer. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Pharmacist, customer. Pharmacist, can I help you? Customer, can I? Could I? May I? Have plus medicine. May I have a bottle of aspirin? Bottle of aspirin, a bottle, a bottle of. T soft D, a bottle, a bottle of, a bottle of aspirin. Could I have a box of cough drops? Cough drops. Cough, <coughs> this is cough. May I have a tube of skin cream? A tube of. May I have a tube of skin cream? May I have a tube of skin cream? This conversation is in a pharmacy. A pharmacy, a drug store. Pharmacist, can I help you? Customer, can I have a bottle of aspirin? Could I have a box of cough drops? May I have a tube of skin cream? Second part. Listen. What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In the second part, you have a conversation between two persons. What do you suggest for? What do you have for? Dry skin plus the disease. What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? What do you suggest for a cold? What do you have for a cold? Pharmacist, try. I suggest you should. Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. This conversation between customer pharmacists where in a pharmacy or drugstore, drugstore pharmacy. What do you suggest? What do you have for a backache? Backache, bains in a back. Backache. What do you suggest? Suggest. Pharmacist, pharmacist, try some of this cream. Try some of this cream. Customer, what do you have for dry skin? You should get some skin cream. You should get some skin cream. You should get, this is suggestion, advice. You should get some skin cream. Again, what do you suggest for, for a backache? What do you have for a backache? Try some of this cream. What do you have for dry skin? You should get some skin cream. Suggestions. What do you suggest? What do you have for plus a disease? What do you suggest for a cold? What do you suggest for backache? What do you suggest for headache? Pharmacist, try some of this cream. I suggest some cream. You should get some skin cream. You should get some skin cream. Question, what do you suggest? Or what do you have? For plus a disease, any disease. A cold, a backache, a headache. Pharmacist, try some of. I suggest you should get plus medicine. Plus medicine. Suggestions. What do you suggest for a disease? What do you have for? What do you suggest for a cold? What do you suggest for backache? 
or we suggest for headache. What do you have for cold? What do you have for backache? What do you have for headache? What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? I can say it as what you. Pharmacist? Try some of. I suggest. You should get plus medicine. What do you suggest for a cold? Try some of this medicine. I suggest a bottle of aspirin. You should get a bottle of aspirin. Try some of this bottle of aspirin. A bottle of aspirin. I suggest power caps. Power caps, name of medicine. You should get cold and flu medicine. Try some of this medicine. Complete, complete these conversations with the verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, should. So here in this exercise we have different answers. Then compare and practice with a partner. One, two, three, you have three conversations. You start to write the answers here. I help you. Yes. I have something for itchy eyes. Itchy eyes in your eyes. Problem in your eyes? Sure, I a bottle of eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. A can I help you? May I help you? Yes. May I have something for itchy eyes? Sure. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. I suggest. One answers. Can. May. Suggest. Can. May. Suggest. Number two. What are you? For sore muscles. Sore muscles, pains in muscles. You try this ointment. It's excellent. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I will. I'll. Take it, take it. I'll take it. You say take it. Two. What do you suggest for sore muscles? What do you have for sore muscles? You can try this ointment. It's excellent. You can try. Okay, I'll take it. Two answers. A. Suggest. Have. I can say, what do you suggest? What do you have? You can. Three. I have a box of bandages, please. Here you are. And what are you? For insomnia. Insomnia, sleeplessness. Sleeplessness, you cannot sleep. B. Some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks. 3. A. Can I? Can I have a box of bandages, please? Here you are. And what do you suggest for insomnia? What do you suggest? What do you have for insomnia? Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks. Three answers. Can, suggest, or have. Try. Exercise number 10. Listening. Try this. And exercise number 10. Listening. Try this. 
You listen to four people, talk to a pharmacist. You check through each person's problem. He's going to have a problem, a disease. Number two, B, listen again. What does the pharmacist suggest for each person? For everyone, you will listen two times. First time, tell me what is the matter, what's the problem. The second, tell me the medicine. What does the pharmacist suggest? Take notes. Ready? Page 82. Exercise 10. Listening. Try this. Part A. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Listen again. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Number one. What is the problem of the man? The man's feet are sore or the man's feet are itchy? Itchy or sore? Sore, you have pains in the feet. Like sore muscles. So the problem, the man's feet are sore. Why? Because he was on a long hike. Hike, he walked for a long time. What does the pharmacist suggest for this man? For this man, the pharmacist suggests to try some ointment. Try some ointment. Ointment, cream. So number one answers. Try some ointment. Two. The woman can't eat or the woman has an upset stomach. Let's lesson number two. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Two. What is the problem? The woman can't eat or the woman has an upset stomach. The woman, the woman has an upset stomach. The problem, number two, the woman has an upset stomach. For how many days? For how many days? For few days. What does the pharmacist suggest? Take pills. To take two pills for three times with meals. To take two pills for three times. Three times breakfast, lunch, dinner. With meals. Three. The man has difficulty sleeping or the man is sleeping too much.
three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Three. The man difficulty sleeping, or the man is sleeping too much. The man has difficulty sleeping. That's the problem. Why? Because he was on a long flight to London. He was traveling by an aeroplane. What does the pharmacist suggest? The pharmacist suggestions to try herbal tea before going to bed. Does the man like using sleeping pills? No, he doesn't. So try herbal tea to drink herbal tea before going to bed, before going to sleep. Number four. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Number four. The woman burned her hand or the woman had a bad sunburn. Sunburn, you walk for a long time in the sun and you got sunburned. No, the woman burned her hand. The woman burned her hand. What was the woman doing? The woman was cocking. She was cocking and then she burned her hand. What does the pharmacist suggest? The pharmacist will give her some cream and after that she used some bandages over it for a few days. Four answers again. Number four, the woman burned her hand. What does the pharmacist suggest? She will give some she will give her some cream and after that she has to use some bandages over it for a few days. Exercise number 11. Role play. Can I help you? Student A and Student B. You're a customer in a drugstore. You need something for low energy. Something for the flu. Something for a backache. Something for dry skin. Something for an upstomach. stomach. Ask for some suggestions. Student B, you're a pharmacist in a drugstore. A customer needs some things. Make some suggestions. So here, it's speaking. You try to make a conversation. This conversation between customer and a pharmacist. So... You can make it exactly like this conversation between Mrs. Webb and the pharmacist. Example, hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for? And then you have the problem. 
Could I have something for a backache? Well, I suggest, I suggest a heating pad. Another conversation. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for fat liver? Could I have something for hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C? Could I have something for backache? Well, for how many days are you sick? I am sick for about a week, for about seven days. Just too long. You can use this ointment and cream. Use it two times in the morning and before going to bed. It's wonderful one. How much is it? Fifty dollars. Okay, here you are. Thanks. Twelve. Writing a letter to an advice columnist. Read this letter to an advice columnist. An advice columnist in Egypt here, a Ram newspaper. There is a whole page. Page for the readers. If you have a problem. Or one of the reader has a problem, he or she sends a message or an email to the Haram newspaper. Then, the advice columnist tries to solve the problem. He gives different suggestions to the problem. Sometimes the problem is too difficult. The columnist and the writer or journalists, they couldn't solve the problem. They publish. They write the problem without solution in the newspaper. And then all the readers write their experiences and write the solutions and suggestions. So let's read. Read these letters to an advice columnist. Dear Fexit Fred. Dear Mr. Fred who fex the problem. I have a problem and need your advice. My parents don't like how I dress. I think I have an interesting style. But my parents, my father and mother, parents, mom and dad, say I just look strange. Where is the were teenagers? Can you please help? Funky Farida. Farida who is funky. Funky is a person who wears fashionable clothes. Very modern clothes. Too fashionable actually. Teenager is a person between 13 and 19 years old. So what is the solution for this problem? Let's look at the second problem. Dear Fexit Fred, Several months ago, I started college, I started university, I study a lot and have a part-time job. So, I don't have much of social life, I don't have time to call friends, I don't have time to have a social life. I haven't made many friends. But I really want to. What do you suggest? What's your advice? Signed the signature too busy. A person who doesn't have any free time. So here this person joined college and at the same time this person has to study a lot and 
had a job, a part-time job, to work for three or four hours every day. So there is university. So there are some lectures, studying, and a part-time job, and a part-time job. So this person doesn't have any time, any free time. This is why the person signed too busy. I don't have any free time. So what do you suggest? Now number B, imagine you wanted some advice about a problem. Write a short letter to an advice columnist. Think of an interesting way to sign it. Your homework is to write a letter or a paragraph like this. Letter dear blah 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 or an email if you have a problem to any journalist or writer of a newspaper then at the end write a signature interesting signature like not slim jam heart broken thirteen exercise number thirteen Look at the picture here. This is reading. What do you see? A lot of trees. A boat. Different men. They're riding a boat. It could be a lake, a river. And here, this is called a broom tree. Tree, this is a broom tree. Rainforest Remedies. Rainforest Remedies. Look at the title. This is the title. Pictures and captions. What do you think the article is about? This article is about what? Hmm. Trees. A trap. Tourism. Fishing to catch fish from a river or a lake. We don't know. Let's start to read. Paragraph number one. Paragraph number one. Rodrigo Bonilla turns off the motor of the boat. Rodrigo Bonilla turns off the motor of the boat. We get off the boat and follow him along the path into the rainforest. We followed Rodergo, Mr. Rodergo, in the way into the rainforest. Above us, a monkey with a baby hangs from a tree. There is a monkey, and this monkey has a baby, and the monkey hangs from a tree. So, are they tourists? Why would they like to go to the rainforest? Are they hunters? They hunt animals? Are they fishermen? They fish or catch fish, fishes here? Let's continue. 2. Paragraph 2. On this hot general day, Rodrigo is not looking for wild animals, but for medicinal plants. Medicinal plants? Plants that give medicine. Plants that can cure or treat illnesses. Plants that can cure or treat diseases. Medicinal plants grow in rainforests around the world. Is Rodrigo, is Rodrigo looking for wild animals? No, he's not. What is he looking for? What is Rodrigo searching for? Rodrigo is searching for medicinal plants. What do medicinal plants do? Medicinal plants can cure or treat illnesses. 
where do medicinal plants grow? Medicinal plants grow in rainforests around the world. Number three, paragraph three. Ridergo is Costa Rican. He learned about jungle medicine from his grandmother. He shows us many different plants such as the broom tree. He tells us that parts of the broom tree can help stop bleeding. So, where is Rodrigo from? From Costa Rica. So it's Costa Rican, like Egyptian, Egypt. Who taught Rodrigo about medicinal plants? His grandmother. He didn't go to a college or university. He learned medicinal plants from his grandmother. What does the broom tree treat? Broom tree, parts of the broom tree can help stop bleeding. Bleeding, losing blood. If someone is losing blood, the broom tree will help him. Paragraph 4 People have always, always L silent, have always used natural products as medicine. In fact, about 50% of Western medicines, such as aspirin, come from natural sources. And some animals eat certain kinds of plants when they are sick. So people have always used natural products as medicine. Natural products, plants, herbs. In fact, about 50% of Western medicines, medicines, in the USA, in England, in Australia, in Europe, Western medicines, such as aspirin, come from natural sources, come from plants and herbs. Some animals eat some kinds of plants when they are sick. If the animals are sick, they eat some plants and they become okay. This is fact. 5. This is why medical researchers are so interested in plants. Many companies are now working with local governments and searching the rainforests for medicinal plants. Different companies, different medicine companies working hard with the local governments to search in the rainforest for medicine, for medicine from plants and herbs. Paragraph number six. So far, the search hasn't produced any medicines, but it's a good idea to keep looking. That's why we're now here in the Costa Rican rainforest. Has, there, has the search produced any new medicines? No, no it hasn't. Is it better to keep looking? Is it better to keep searching? To keep looking? To keep searching for medicine plants. Yes, it's a good idea. We have to keep looking and searching for finding new medicine for people, new medicinal plants and herbs for curing patients, for curing sick people. A, answer A and B. One minute, try to answer. A.
read the article, then check through the best description of the article. The article starts with a description and then gives facts. Or the article, article essay, gives the writer's opinion. The article starts with facts and then gives advice. The article gives the writer opinions when he says, I think. The article starts with facts when he gives numbers, when he gives numbers. But here, no. The article starts with description and then gives facts. So number one. A. Answer. One. We choose one. Two. B. Answer these questions, then write the number of the paragraph where you find each answer. In this question, you write the number of the paragraph, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, and you write the answer. Where did Ruderigo learn about jungle medicine? Paragraph number 3. From his grandmother. From his grandmother. Who is interested in studying medicinal plants? Five. Paragraph number five. Medical researchers. Medical researchers. What's Rudergo looking for in the rainforest? Paragraph number two. He's looking for medical plants. He's looking for medical plants. How many new medicines have come from Rodrigo's research? Or from Rodrigo's search? How many new medicines have come from Rodrigo's search? Paragraph number six. Six. None. Zero. How many Western medicines come from natural sources? Paragraph number four. About fifty percent. Fifty percent. Homework. That's the end of unit 12, and now let's get the homework. The homework will be funny. Number one, watch the video. You have to watch the video on Google, right? Interchange one, unit 12 video. The video is in Cambridge, is in Cambridge website. Number two. You have more exercises and games, a lot of games, on www.cambridge.org interchange arcade. Number three, answer the workbook pages. Thanks. Unit 12. Interchange 1, Unit 12, Part 2, 8. Pharmacist. Pharmacist, a person who works in a pharmacy. A person who works in a pharmacy. Lotion. Vitamins, T, S, F, D. Multivitamins, British. American, multivitamins. Multivitamins, vitamins. T, S, F, D, between two vowels. Having a lot of vitamins. Having a lot of vitamins. Itchy. Up stomach. Up stomach. Calmness. Calmness. The writer of a newspaper or a magazine column. So calmness. Writer. The writer of a newspaper. Or magazine column. Column N silent. When I have M and N, N silent. At the end, column. K 
columnist, the writer of a newspaper or a magazine column. Desperate, desperate, hopeless, frustrated, frustrated, T sub D, frustrated, between two vowels. Breakup, separate, separate, P, switching P, P sound, separate. Breakup, don't say break up, no, breakup, breakup. Separate. Thirteen. These are the words related to exercise number thirteen. كلمات الموجودة في exercise thirteen. Hang, hang, to fasten, hang, to fasten. Rainforest, rainforest, a tropical forest, a tropical forest. Medicinal, medicinal, related to medicine. Related to medicine. Medicinal related to medicine. Jungle. A tropical forest with many trees and plants. A tropical forest with many trees and plants. Bleeding. Bleeding. Losing blood. Bleeding. Losing blood. Sources. Places where things come from. Places where things come from. Research. Researchers, ER like drive drivers, research researchers, people who study something, people who study something, people who study something, searching, looking for, looking for, produced, made, created, broom tree, yellow flower tree, broom tree, yellow flower tree. Broom tree, yellow flower tree. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.